two VMP Gen 3 R powered cars. Michael Sabrowski and uh, El Toro, Oscar Morin. Nothing like VMP on VMP Prime. They are both dangerously close to the sevens. It'll be pretty cool to see what they do against each other. On seven nine. First BMP Gen 3R in the sevens. <laughs> 7.9 at 170 miles an hour. Yep. And, Pretty awesome. And uh, this car all season, it's been running how fast? Uh, 870s. 870s. With the so, little 2R lower. With a Gen 2R. So you simply swapped on a Gen 3R and obviously did everything you knew racing know-how wise to make yep. the combination work and went seven tenths faster six to seven yep. tenths faster how many mile an hour faster uh, about 25 mile an hour faster the fastest was a uh, 155 yeah. anim ray trim so about or about 15 mile an hour faster yeah yeah so dude it is it is hauling butt and it's a simple setup yep and still it doesn't under, even have the bitty pulley on it no it's still on an eight rib belt 15 percent lower 69 yep. upper yep yeah i think but it i think it was making about 23 pounds of boost 23 psi that's it yeah pretty basic setup yeah. anybody could duplicate it <laughs> you and keith are awesome racers rgr Thank built you. you an awesome engine hpj performance Great job with them, you know, helping out with the car and everything. Oh, we couldn't so. do it without them guys. JPC. Yep. Eric. Eric is the master of the torque converter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because you're 60 foot, 1.186. Yep. Big part of how quick the car is. Very big yeah. part. It's got to uh, get it down the track. Yeah, man, it's awesome. I'm pretty pumped. Yeah, I was when I saw that 79 light up on the, that board. And the, we knew before you knew. Yeah, I didn't have a clue. I mean, yeah. it felt like the other 80 passes. I mean, this thing was printing 80 time slips like paychecks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was pretty cool. Just freaking insane. Now for next season. Yeah, we'll have to game plan see what we're gonna Turn do. it up, you know, tin rib conversion. We got a couple parts in the parts bin. Our new uh, Taipan lower manifold that we're developing with MFP. And uh, it doesn't have a crank support on it. I know no. MFP is going to want to get the winner a crank support. So, Ooh. yeah. I'm up for anything. <laughs> yeah. Next stop, 750s. I'm, I don't I'm know. game. I'm a, that's, a little, that's a little ambitious, no, but. It, I think it's 3,100 3, pounds. Yeah. It'll go 750. This car's how much right now? 3,460 went over the scales. Not light by any means. No, so that's. I figure every 100 pounds is a 10th. You know, I think if you bought a base model GT, um, you know, back in 2013, then I think that's what it weighed without driver. Yeah, this was this was a base. It was cloth interior, just yeah. standard. So and that's why I bought it because I knew what I was going to do with it, obviously. So. And, and your race weight is like a stock Mustang GT. Yeah. Well, NMRA trim is 3,800 pounds. And you were running those 860s, 870s. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So it was more than just the blower. It was yeah. the weight. The weight drop and yes. the blower. Well, the blower definitely helped a bunch. <laughs> a bunch. Yeah. That thing was making some steam off the yeah. back end. Yeah. Yeah, to go 170 miles an hour. Yep. Yeah. Pretty awesome. Thank you very Appreciate much, it, man. Bro. Congratulations. Thank you. Give the wife a hug and smooth for me. I will. I will. I'll get she over got here. That it. She got that A2 and 167. She's chasing you, so we are going to get it. 
Our, cool. uh, our combination was not as well dialed in as Michael's, but we're on the road to success. So El Toro, while it did not win the blower class, it was runner up. And the story behind this car and what the team at Shrek Motorsports with Oscar Morin and Ariel Salinas and the team at Triangle Speed Shop with Daniel and those guys that tune the car, they tune the chassis, what they managed to do with this car with basically no testing is just amazing. I'm really impressed with uh, their skill as far as building the car and racing it to go eight twos at 165 miles an hour and get runner up in the all blower class is super impressive. I can't wait to see what more comes from El Toro in the future.